All right, y'all, I figured it out. It was, and I figured it out because I made a table with the calculator, right? And I did it as 18x, and um, I went to the table setup, and okay, so yeah, my brain. So, but it was, it was, this was not 98, it was 88. So I would off by 10. All right, so this is 88. And this is 306, 324, 342, and lastly, 360. All right. <sighs> this is kind <laughs> of funny. All right. Now, remember when we go around here, we were 0, 18. Okay, well, that's when the sign is 1, so we get 10 times 1, so I'm going to start for this. And then 36. And then 54, okay, well, that's when this is the sign of negative 1, so I'm going to circle this. Okay, so the second and fourth. All right, so that means this, 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 this. This is all we're going to have, positive 10. And then this, 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 this is when we're going to have negative 10. Now, the thing is, when we have negative 10, in this angular direction, we actually point 180 degrees opposite. So it'd be good to find out where these are actually locating. So in other words, if we're pointing at negative, if we're at pointing at 90 and it's negative 10, we're actually going to be on 270. Notice that's 180 degrees later. So I'm going to add 180 degrees to all these, or you could subtract 180 degrees. All right. Now, I know I just indicated my head kind of sucked, but 180 plus, so that's uh, 234. Okay, 180 plus, that's 306. Okay, one, I'm going to minus 180 because it's greater than 180, so that's 18. And, and um, uh, minus 180, since that's greater than 180, that's 90. And then minus 180. What do you think? Look look at these numbers. What do you think that last one is? What do you, what do you think is going to happen when you subtract 180? What do you think you're going to get? Oh, oh, oh. I bet it's 162. So what does that mean? That means these all point in the same direction as these. So we're only going to have five petals. Sometimes these don't. And we get ten petals. Alright. So now what we got to do is just put a dot at these locations and then do the petals. Now these are 30 degree intervals, so 18 between 30 and 0, probably right there. 90, well that's easy. 162, well again these are 30 degree intervals, that's 180, right? So that would be 150, so 162 is right about there. 234, alright, well this would be 210, 30 degree intervals, 240, all right, so 234 is probably right about there. And I know my spacing's not perfect. We'll get the idea. All right, now 306, that's a little bit more than 300. So 270 plus 30 is 300, so right about there. Okay, so here is... That's why we call this a rose. Lastly, the spiral. Now, I made this divide by pi because if we use um, radians, it's a lot easier because we got 0 pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, right? So I'm going to go this out to 8. So 0, well, 0. Okay, well, pi, well, right here it's going to be pi over 2, so a half, okay, and then pi, pi divided by 3 is 1, okay, and then here 3 pi over 2, which is 3 and a half, and then 2 pi, which is 2, right, so 2, and then 3 pi, which is 3, and then 4 pi, which is a half, right, and then 5 pi, 
and then 6 pi, 7 pi, and then 8 pi. Okay, well, I hope that helped. Um, you guys stay care and be safe. All right, this thing is serious. It's not something you want to play with. Um, and I posted some stuff on my website. Uh, I, I used uh, Desmos to extrapolate um, the data from Italy, where it got exponential very quickly. Over a week, it went from, like I think, 27, I could look it up, to 1,000 in one week. And again, exponential, you know, all those other people affect other people, so, and then it jumped, like, even higher than that, so, um, I hope people are taking precautions and not taking this seriously, because even though you might survive, your older family members may not, and that includes me. Peace out.